Hello, welcome to Slippery Rock NYC's fourth animation podcast. My name is Rob Powers, and today we will be dealing with parenting and the puppet tool, and how to use them to set up different uh, arms for your character. I'm going to start off with the parenting version, which is pretty quick and simple, and then the puppety version, which is a little bit more intense. Okay, so let's deal with just the screen right arm, so we'll highlight the upper arm, the lower arm, and the hand. When you start setting up these arms, you need to set the anchor points and all the keyframes for each arm. To set up these arms, you need to set the keyframes and the anchor points so the arm will bend correctly. So let's start set up the keyframes here. Let's hit P for position. Let's hit A, R, T, S while holding the shift key down. And as you see, it brings up all our attributes that we need to keyframe. So let's click the stopwatch and set our keyframes. Hold down Option Command H and turn them to holds. Now all the layers that we are dealing with have keyframes and now let's set the anchor point. This one looks like it's in a pretty good spot here. For the lower arm, we want to put it where the elbow is. You can turn off the other layers just to see where the center of the joint should be. So you can take the hit the Y tool so you get your anchor point tool and just slide it to about the center of that circle of that joint right there. Let's do the same for the upper arm. The upper arm you want to have at the shoulder, so you move the anchor point towards the shoulder there. And then it's very simple, just take your hand, parent it to your lower arm, take your lower arm, drag, pick whip here to your upper arm. And also we want to have these arms connected to the torso, so let's take the upper arm here and pick whip to the torso. So if we have the torso on, and if we move the torso up and down, you see the arm follows. And if you take the upper arm and hit the rotation, which is uh, plus and minus on your number pad here, and you hold down shift, you can rotate the arm there, and you can rotate the lower arm like that. And you can rotate the hand, and there you go. You have a puppeted, a now puppeted arm. Very simple, pretty straightforward. I'm going to use these same principles uh, for parenting for the puppeted version, the actual puppet tool version of the arm. Okay, so let's turn these down for now and let's highlight the other arm. So this is arm L. We want to use just arm L's elements. Let's highlight these, hit P, hold down shift, A, R, T, S, and let's set the keyframes for these attributes. Option Command H, as you can see, has set keyframes. I don't know why that window keeps popping up, but that's okay. Okay, let's hide all the keyframes for now. Okay, for the Puppet Tool version, we're going to take both the lower arm and the upper arm, and we're going to composite them to get together. So let's go to um, Layer, down to Pre-Compose. Let's call this Arm L. As you can see, the two layers are now pre-composed into one, one comp here. As you can see here, both parts of the arm are composited into a comp, and the comp is at the full size of the bare comp here. Uh, I'm going to leave it uh, at this size. Usually I do crop them down to around the area here, but in this case I'm going to leave it because it makes the, the expression that I'm going to use easier if the comp is the same size as the master comp. And I know that if the comp, all comps are at this size, it's very hard to click and select the comps that are below it. But actually, once we get the puppet tool done, we actually hide and lock this away. We never actually need to touch this arm element. And um, the nulls that we are going to be using will drive the rest of the arm and change the artwork to fit the uh, new shape of the arm. Okay, so let's take this arm and let's set some puppet tools. So we'll go up to the puppet tool here and let's set some puppet points and let's set them... Um, where you would want them, basically, uh, naturally where they, they lay, which is at the shoulder here, at the elbow, and then let's put one at the wrist here. Okay, let's highlight this. Let's show the mesh so you can see the mesh here. You can see now the puppet tool has uh, surrounded the artwork here. Let's go down to the mesh and the deformer, and let's name them just so we can keep track of what is what. So let's call this wrist call this one elbow, let's call this shoulder, great. Let's turn down the arrow so we can actually see our keyframes and let's also 
take our keyframes and change them to holds. Now we have our keyframes set. Um, if I move the puppet tool, you know, you get the bouncy puppety arm. And it looks it looks nice, but it's not going to give us exactly what we what we want. We want a little bit more control of the arm. And uh, if you start setting keyframes and, uh, for animation here, you'll start to see that the animation wants it in between linearly, so that um, some of the animation might look a little off. Some of the parts of the arm might get too small when it in betweens. So we don't want to actually. So we don't want to actually animate the puppet tool um, by grabbing and moving the actual puppet points. We're going to create nulls that will drive the puppet tool to do what we want it to do. So let's create three nulls here. So let's go to new null object. You can also make a solid if you'd like. Uh, you just need to make sure that you set your solid to guide layer. So when you do final renders, the actual solid won't render. So I could just show you that real quick. So if we go to here and we go to um, new solid. And let's just say uh, 20 by 20 pixels. And let's change it to a color red. And there. So you can use this also as your puppet tool element. Um, you'd move it up to where your shoulder would be. And then the other thing you'd have to do once we set all the, the expressions, you would just want to make sure that this is turned to a guide layer. And then this will no longer render, render for this project here. I'm going to delete that out. And we're just going to start with nulls because it's a little bit easier. So let's take our null and let's name this shoulder. Let's duplicate it and name this one elbow. Let's duplicate that and let's name this one. I'm going to name it hand instead of wrist for the actual. It's a little bit clearer for me to, to see what that is. So let's set our keyframes. OK. Let's just show the position keyframes for now. So hit P. The other thing you notice is uh, these are actual position keyframes, but I've noticed while I work in After Effects here, um, copying and pasting these keyframes actually sometimes crashes After Effects, which is very frustrating if you have a lot of work done and you haven't saved. So I'm actually just going to type these values in. So let's highlight uh, the hand and let's type the 224 and the 264 to in here. 224, hit tab, 264, and you'll see the null jump right to where the puppet point would be. Let's do the same for the rest here. 374, 262, and then finally 542, tab, 262. So you can see how 